For this video, I'm going to do a two minute introduction into the ambulance module on where we get the data and how we convert that into our ambulance command center module. To get the data for our ambulance command center page, we take this from a local ambulance service website, in this case, the London Ambulance Service. What they provide is a web page that shows us the vehicles and the ambulances on the way to the hospital and the vehicles that have arrived at the hospital. They give us some data such as the age and sex of the patients, uh, the times of arrival and handover, and also a chief complaint to why the ambulance was called out in the first place. We scrape this data and store it uh, for use in our ambulance page. Now this data here is updated every 15 seconds, but only shows you live what is happening. We store that and we can use and see the historic performance within the command centre. We transform that into here what is shown now, which is our Ambulance Command Centre page. It's set up into four columns. The first column shows what's arriving, what's due in. In this case, no ambulance are actually arriving or due expected into the hospital. The second column shows you what ambulances are on site now, how many are in handover and how many have completed handover. The third column shows you a, a detailed view of those in handover now. We can actually see for each ambulance in handover how long they're currently taking, and that's updating every second. And the fourth and final column is the performance today. How many ambulances have arrived today? What's the, how many ambulances arrive per hour? What's live versus what we predict based off the, the history we've collected? And what's the average handover time today? Is that increasing or decreasing? And we've also added for the COVID-19 crisis, the number of potential COVID-19 arrivals into the ambulance per day. And so this gives you a holistic view going from the start arrivals to end, which is handover in one page.